It's Ramsey Dewey, continue, and we're here at the Animal 2 MMA Gym in Shanghai, China. Let's do some single leg stuff today. Well, we're going to show you what we did in class today. So we had some questions about finishing the golf swing single, and I made a bunch of videos about this particular takedown. You'll see it in Tai Chi, Sanda, even in Muay Thai, freestyle wrestling, and several other martial arts. But first, a couple of details on that one. We can set this up a bunch of different ways. But once I have this ankle, I'm going to lift up this way to increase my potential energy and then drag it down low to the floor. Okay, if, if I catch this leg, but I don't lift it, notice he doesn't move very much. So I lift first, and then I bring it very low. All right, the, the Tai Chi form associated with this looks something like this. We bring the hands up high and then down low, right? because we're increasing the potential energy with that lift. So if you're having trouble with a golf swing takedown, just lift the leg up first before you dip it down low. Now, some entries for the single leg, including this one, that I like to use. I'll, a lot of people will give you over-unders in a fight or in a grappling match, because it's neutral, it feels neutral. A lot of people accept this, right? So I want to give them the, the illusion that I'm going for the over-unders, but I'm going to do a bicep tie up on the way in. So I'm going to pummel for this underhook and block the bicep, just so you can see that from the back. Pummel here, block the bicep. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to push him. I'm pushing him, and as I come down, now I can grab the leg and come back from a different angle. All right? Underhook, bicep tie up, push, and pull back here. So we can use this for a lot of things. I, I like this entry specifically for MMA because strikes are flying. We're punching. Right, and I pummel under here, I get down there, I'm moving, oh, bumped him on the chin, sorry about that. Now, the reason that I'm pushing him back, well, two reasons, maybe three. One, to unbalance him. Two, so I don't get need in the head, right? Let's say I'm right here, and we're not moving, and I've got the underhook, and I've got this nice little pathway down to his leg, but since he's balanced, he could bring this knee up right to my chin. Can you get me on the chin with the knee? Boom! Knock out, right? So when I pummel here, bicep tab, look, I'm pushing him. Now, can you knee me in the head while I'm doing that? Maybe if he's a really good jumper, he might be able to, but he's gonna have a much harder time balancing to throw a knee or a kick while he's balancing backwards, right? So, inside here, push, unstabilize, and I move myself back to get this one, right? A couple other ways to get that ankle for um, this particular throw or many, many other throws that involve holding the ankle. Right, sometimes we'll just be out here, boom, I'll shoot in here, right? And he's going to defend the single leg. He'll pull this leg down, he'll push, right? Oh, and he'll try to get out. A lot of people give up on a single leg when it gets tough. So I get in here, he's pushing, so I'll pull myself back. Okay, so instead of wasting energy trying to pull and wrestle in this position where I've lost all my movement, right? Now, once he starts pulling back, I can move back here, okay? So what else can we do? I can set that up myself. I can push myself back, right? Boom, I shoot in for that single and I pull myself right back here like a slingshot. In, bounce right off him and out, okay? So all those setups again. Boom, boom. Block this in here, up, and then down, right? In here, pull myself out. And the third one, now he defends, right? I shoot for this, and he pushes, so I pull myself away. And now down, right? Now, if you don't like the golf swing single, you've got other options. Let's pull the mat out here because this can be a, a hard landing, right? So any of these, right, I get in here, I get this, I'm having a hard time. Lift up and dump him. Here, do that to me. So right, we're out here fighting. He gets in low, I'm giving him a hard time. And if a man can, can't stand, he can't fight. Who said that? Probably some famous martial artist on the internet, right? But... Yeah, it's a, it's a great option. Here, one more time. Go ahead. 
So he gets the single leg, I'm pushing, he's just lifting and marching forward. Now the disadvantage of that, that's great in a sundown fight. And maybe it'll play into your MMA game plan. But the reason I like the golf swing single so much is because it gives you control of the ankle if you hold on to it. And if I have control of this leg, guard passing gets a whole lot easier. Okay, I don't know if you know that guard pass. It's a, one of my favorites for mixed martial arts, right? And we don't necessarily have to set up the golf swing single. But if I have control of one of his legs, look, I'll get this leg in between, get this leg right here, drive my knees down, one onto his thigh, one onto his hip, and from here start striking. Now he has a couple of options. He can try to escape. Here, escape. Right, and if he moves, look what I do. I just sprawl down into side control, right? And if he rolls the other way, we've got his back. Okay? So, man, single legs are great because there are a million ways to finish them. You go for this one, right? And we can go for the back. So what happens a lot here? Tien and I were sparring today and he did this really cool thing that we worked on today in class. Here, shoot for the single. All right, so I'm, yeah. Yeah, before I can even give him a hard time, he's on my back. If you didn't know this, right? Some people were asking like, can you finish a single leg with, with the head on the outside? Yeah. Now in IBJJF rules, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation rules for white belts, there is a rule, no head on the outside for a single leg takedown because they're afraid you're gonna fall on your face and white belts don't know how to wrestle and they'll get hurt, right? But if you're an IBJDF competitor, blue belt and above, you can, you can do it. And there are many, many legitimate ways to finish single legs with the head on the outside. Many, many trips, sweeps, single legs, running the pipe, switch into a double leg flare, Let's do one of those, right? So I shoot in here for the single. My head's on the outside. He's giving me a hard time. Look at this hand. Switch to a double leg. Anyway, there are tons of options. Here's, here's another one I really love, right? So I shoot. I've got my head on the outside. Okay, let's do that one more time. Again, shoot for the single leg. Head on the outside. And we roll him back. But again, one of the most simple of all, and, and Tin's great at this because his center of gravity is already lower, right? We get in here, he's giving me a hard time. Look, I'm on his back. You know what I learned that from? Watching Nick Newell fight. We were talking about him today. He's an MMA fighter who was born with one arm. Well, his right arm up to like right, right around the elbow. But yeah, one arm fighter. And I'm watching this guy fight. And he gets in on his single leg with his head on the outside. I'm thinking, how, he's gonna, how is he gonna finish that? This arm comes here, the head and the stump of the arm right there. And yeah, he gets the back and finishes the takedown from there. And it was beautiful. And I was like, man, if a dude with one arm can effectively finish singles from that head on the outside position, what's my excuse? So anyway, you have a ton of options. Just because it's illegal for white belts and IBJJF doesn't mean you shouldn't learn it, especially if your sport is MMA, which is no holds barred. And there's only one single throw that is illegal in the sport of, U, of uh, MMA under UFC rules. And that is this one here. Can I borrow you? The pile driver. So if I lift the guy up this way and spike him on his head, right? That's, that's the one illegal throw under UFC rules. So you can't do that. I've, I've only seen that once in an actual sanctioned fight. And the dude, you know, he got fouled. So... Don't do that if you're a competitor. Save that for the streets. Anyway, no, don't, don't get into street fights, guys. So, single legs, golf swing takedowns, you got a million options. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Brought to you by xmarshall.com. Use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. That's xmarshall.com. High quality training gear and fight apparel. And since everybody always asks, if you have questions that you want answers to, just leave them in the comments below. I read your comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this groovy music. Now get out there and train.